Hello everybody and welcome to Alex's Knives and Such, where the such stands for EDC gear. Today I'm going to be unboxing and doing my first impressions of this Buck 252 trunk with 7CR steel and yeah, this last one is the store so this tip cover is off. It has 7CR chopper blade steel which is like a cleaver with G10 handles and a 4 inch blade stainless steel clip. We'll be back when we open this. The knife I'm going to use to open it is the Gerber Fast Draw. This is the Buck 252 or the Buck Trunk. It is liner lock for safe use, one hand open, and stainless steel pocket clip. Clip is really loose. Not retention is okay. I don't know how to wear it yet. How it is wearing it though yet. It weight is three and three point one ten uh, one zero ounces. Four inch blade length, which is the length of the whole knife. I mean, is four inches. Sorry if I messed that up. And three point five inch blade length, which is a chopper cleaver style blade in seven cr steel, which no boss heat treat on this. And 428, no 420 HC, which Buck is known for that. So we'll have to read more into this and watch some videos to get some more perspectives. The knife closes. How's the centering? Let me take it off camera. You guys look at the packaging. I don't know if you guys, you guys can probably see it now that I have a better phone and camera, but the centering is off, but not extremely bad at all. It opens with the flipper tab. Reverse flick on the thumb stud and regular flick on the thumb stud. Over time, this is going to be a very um, fidgetable knife. The handle is grooved to with the G10 to, to fit your hand. It's a four finger knife. No jimping on the, sp on the blade spine, but on the handle back, it's jimping here and at the end. The flipper tab um, has no jimping. I clean off the blade when I wipe it with the cloth after. It's a nice looking pivot for a buck. If they made this in a USA version or more better steel like 420 even, I'd go for it too. But right now, it's the only way I know to find this one. My answer, my rating on the low side is a uh, seven on the high side is a uh, eight and a half or a good nine for my first impressions and unboxing this knife was twenty four dollars before tax and I believe a uh, YouTube I got a person on YouTube told me about this knife and that it was a cleaver blade and to look for it last one in this in Academy Sports. And usually when you see these knives, they're hidden and not really well known or talked about. I'll look more into it to know when it came out and everything, the year and all that. And why did they do a few knives? Because I've seen another knife I liked with steel handles. Kind of like this knife in the color of the handle, but it's really steel and slippery. This is the um, CGRB Agave. But that one was also in 7CR. I've never heard of Buck doing 7CR. The lowest I've heard them doing is 420HC. Does it say China on the blade? No. But it has to be China made. Hmm. That's my mom's Yorkie dog barking in the family room. Left hand, you could do it. Off camera to close it and reverse flick. 
Got it. Nice color of, of tan G10. Nice way to hold. Nice everything. And it's a buck. Really, really like my bucks. My buck knives. Let's do a the, on the um let's do a few size comparisons just with a few bucks just that I never do in the in the first impressions unboxing, but because it's a buck and in there I'm just gonna do a few bucks, not all of them that I have. And then I will end the video and do the review in a few days or a week or so. We're going to compare it with the Buck Bantam. Which the Buck Bantam is bigger, but just barely. By the end of the handle. And we're going to do the Buck Spitfire. The Buck Spitfire is bigger. If you want my opinion, these two are both elegant gentlemen or gentle ladies carry knives. They're not made to scare people or alert people, and they're just wonderful and so sweet. One of my all-time favorite bucks so far. This will be the best. All-time favorite of mine, too. And I like cleaver knives. Have been in that realm of knives for a, a little while. And... This will get pocket time, and I will let you know what's up with it in a review. And just look at this. This is like a small, tiny cleaver compared to the Civivi Mini Bull Mastiff or the Gerber Flatiron. And I just like this so much. Let me know your opinions, what you think of the knife, if you own it, and how it works or doesn't work, or what's good or bad about it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, even dislike, and remember to be safe and use those sharp blades.